Hey, well, what is going on, guys? My name is Tom Spark, and today we're talking specifically about KubeBitTorrent. Now, KubeBitTorrent is a BitTorrent application, which means that it works by loading in torrent files from popular torrent websites, and it lets you download content. So one of the most popular ways to load torrents into KubeBitTorrent, like I said, is by finding torrent websites like the Pirate Ray, RAR, RARBG, uh, you know, these kind of websites which have torrents on them. Um, but there's actually kind of a unique way to use Qubit Torrent that uh, not many people know about, or maybe maybe you just didn't know about it. But it's actually pretty cool. So there are also things called the Torrent like search engines and various. Um, it's similar to a Torrent website in that um, you find torrents and stuff. But they work kind of through um, aggregating results from different websites. But today we're going to be talking about specifically Qubit Torrent and how to use its search feature adding in specific databases and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. So essentially what you could do with Qubit Torrent is search for a torrent file on the app without needing to go to a website and downloading from there. Now guys, just as always, make sure you're using a VPN before you start up Qubit Torrent and start downloading stuff. This is one of the best ways to ensure your IP address stays protected and you don't get any annoying letters from your ISP or have your service threatened to be canceled. Check out the VPN down in the description down below. Pretty much all you do is pay for a subscription as low as you know two to three dollars a month depending on the plan you pick. Um, you just log in, start up the app, and just connect to a nearby server. It's as simple as that. Um, you can see some of my other videos on torrenting on the channel or go into more in depth um, you know about settings and stuff like that you can configure. But today we're focusing more on you know once you have that VPN set up already and what to do from there in order to use this cool search feature. So pretty much what you're gonna do with Qubit Torrent is go to view and then you're gonna wanna view the search engine. So uh, without this view search engine, it's gonna look like this. Um, once you do enable it, however, it's gonna look like this. Um, see, as you can see the search. Now, one problem you're gonna have probably is it's gonna say Python is not enabled on your computer. Um, so this is what happened to me. So you're gonna actually have to install Python. Fortunately, that's really easy to do. Just go to python.org, go to downloads, and click this yellow button. Um, and so this is gonna give you the comp compatibility to use plugins and use this search feature. Once you go ahead and install that Python and just go through the steps to install it, you can go ahead and finish that up and then close down Qubit Torrent and start it again. Um, once you do this, you're gonna be able to do view and see the search engine and it's gonna pop up right here. Now guys, in order to use this, you're actually gonna have to use a plugin. So how are you gonna do this? Well, I'm gonna put a link down in the description down below. Basically, there's like a repository on GitHub for Qubit Torrent plugins. Um, which kind of plugin do you wanna use? Do you wanna use Academic Torrents for downloading academic files? Do you wanna use Kickback Torrents, one of the older repositories, um, search engines, or do you wanna use some of these others? Now you're probably gonna be wanting using a one that has a green check mark here because it shows that it's working. Tried using SnowFL to see if it worked and it didn't work. So just for the purposes of this video, I used Extra Torrent just because it's a website I'm familiar with. It's a pretty good torrent website, um, you know, similar to um, the Pirate Bay. So guys, um, what you're gonna do here is you're gonna actually click on this button here and do save link as. So what that is going to do, it's gonna put a download file um, in your downloads. It's gonna put a download file in your downloads that looks something like this. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go here, search plugin, as you can see it's already added, install a new one, local file, and then go to downloads and click on extra torrent. Once you do that, it's gonna load in and you're pretty much gonna be good to go. Push close and look for any you know, thing. So for this purpose of video, I'm just gonna look up Ubuntu. As you can see, there are downloads here. You can organize by Cedars, Leechers. Um, you can see the size. So for all intents and purposes, it is pretty much exactly the same um, as you know using a torrent website there. Um, you could uh, even additionally, you could kind of right click it or just click it and do go to description page and if you click it, it's actually gonna open up the page on the thing here. So guys, this is pretty cool, right? Um, you could use an easy way to search within Qubit Torrent. Uh, remember to have your VPN active though before you start downloading anything. Pretty cool way guys on how to you know do this. Let me know what you think of this down in the comments down below and I'll see you again on the next video.